So, okay, types of muscle contract should have probably merged to the previous one, but anyway. So, um, types of muscle contraction. So, contraction can be isotonic and isometric. Okay, so in isotonic contraction, there's no movement. And in this case, the tension is lower than the load. Now, it sounds kind of ridiculous, but if you think about it, like if I will, if I will stand here carrying two heavy d dumbbells in my hands, just, just like allowing them to hang, my muscles that hold the dumbbell are in the isometric contraction. When I push this, this table, oh, my muscles are contracting, but there's no movement. They don't change the length. Does that make sense? So this is typical isometric contraction. Now isotonic contraction can be further divided into concentric and eccentric. Okay? So in concentric in concentric contraction, muscle shortens. Tension is higher than the load. Okay? So if we use one of the easiest examples is the biceps curl. When you curl it, when you go up, it's the concentric phase. When you let it to go down, it goes down because tension obviously is lower than the load. This is why it is going down. It's controlled. And the muscle elongates. Does that make sense? Good? Um, from the standpoint of exercise science, concentric contractions are really good to develop force strength, eccentric, really good to develop volume. So if you would read, so basically if you want to become very, very strong, let's say you want to do, um, you want to do, I don't know, massive, deadlift is easy, deadlift is easy. You do, you do the, the lifting part during the deadlift, does that make sense? And then just drop. That will develop strength. You see what I'm saying? If you want to develop volume of a muscle, then you need to focus on the eccentric phase. So for instance, for biceps curl, you would move relatively fast up and then really, really slowly back. We don't really know why, but it's observation that has been made a long time ago. So again, you look at the programs that are training strength, they focus on the concentric movements. You look at the programs, like all your bodybuilding programs, a former student of mine, uh, we friends on Instagram, so I kind of see him from time to time. He's, he used to be a professional bodybuilder. All of, the, all of the programs focusing on eccentric phase. Does that make sense? That, that, that's really short. Oh, yeah. Well, Kind of, you know, obvious thing, the heavier the load, the shorter and the slower the move. With, okay, at the same tension, same tension that muscle produces. Heavier load results in the shorter and slower 
motion. It, it just scientific statement that kind of makes sense. In order to move something heavier, you need to apply more tension to move it at the same distance with the same speed. Makes sense, right? Any questions here? Okay, good.